All right, today we're going to be taking photos from my Instagram account and playing around with them with Photoshop's new AI features. I've already done two other videos playing around with these features, but what's incredible is that Adobe saw those videos and wanted to officially sponsor me to do another one. So massive shout out to Adobe Firefly. Anyway, I'm going to start with this iconic Instagram post from 115 weeks ago. Shout out to this comment, great stuff. So to begin with, we're just going to do the classic. We're just going to expand the background. Very simple to do, just click generative fill and if I leave it blank it'll just fill in the blanks. Generating, here we go, I want to see some delightful landscape. All of this white is going to be filled in and then from there we'll do more specific stuff. Oh, <laughs> look at that and there's three versions in total. That's so weird. I mean they all just look totally legit. When I look at that image I just can't see what's AI and what was actually there. Look at the grass, that is just mental. <laughs> <laughs> the clouds and the skies just continue perfectly. Okay, this looks cool, but the background could definitely be a bit more dramatic. So let's just see if we can add some mountains behind or something. Mountains and sky. Let's just type that in, see what happens. Oh, okay, there we go. They've gone more subtle with the mountains. So keep in mind, this is the original. My fingers messed up, but we could easily fix that. Oh, the second version. The mountains are a bit more up there. That's fair enough. And then that's the third picture. All right, let me just fix my hand real quick. Should be quite easy to do. Just copy it and paste it over the top. Yeah, there you go. Can we get a volcano shoved in? It'd be quite nice to have a volcano, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. Generating, generating, generating. Oh my god, the volcano's erupting. Good god. <laughs> I should probably drive away. All right, next we're going to take this picture of me and Becky and we're going to try some more subtle changes. So firstly, we'll just do the classic. We'll expand it, make it go from a portrait image to a landscape one. It's obviously going to have to fill in some gaps with our arms here. I'm curious to see what happens. Ah, oh, perfect. Look at that. <laughs> That's so weird. We've just got arms out of nowhere. We have three different ones to choose for. I think Becky'd probably prefer the original. This is so weird. So what if I just select my tie? Can I turn it into a striped tie? I don't know exactly how this works. I've typed stripe tie and I'm clicking generate. Oh my god, okay. I mean, that looks more like a checkered tie, I'm gonna be honest, but I'll allow it. What's my other options? Ooh, a nice striped pink, okay. See, this isn't just putting a texture over the top. It's completely changing the ties. You can see that each one is folded in a slightly different way. Can we give Becky a hat? That is what we all want to know. Top hat, maybe? Why not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It's got a little top hat. It's just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> so weird. Looking good, Becky. Yeah, I like it. Well, we've added a top hat. I've changed my tie. It's time to turn the floor into lava. No idea if this is going to work, but I'll type lava and I'll click generate. Oh, okay. The lava's more realistic than I was envisioning. It's great hardened lava as opposed to like fresh burning red lava. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I can't really argue with it. That's fine. It's so impressive how easy it is for a portrait picture to become landscape. Like once I get rid of Becky's hat, this just looks totally legit but most of it isn't real. <laughs> All right, something totally different. I posted this back in 2019. Basically, I drew an elephant and I guess I wanted to put it on Instagram. We've seen that the generative fill can complete photorealistic images, but can it literally copy my art style? Let's find out. We're just going to leave it black. We're going to click generate. Oh my God, it's just smashed it. It's absolutely nailed it. All of my tiny little streaks with the chalk or whatever I used, they've just continued all the way along. The sand looks better than the sand that I did. <laughs> they finished the elephant's legs. You can see that they're cropped out of the original. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, let's see if we can change the flowers into something else. Maybe I could just try remove flowers? I don't know. Let's let's try that. It is amazing how the sky just continues. That is crazy. The flowers are gone. The second truck log just looks exactly how it should do if we're getting rid of the flowers. That's so weird. Continuing the animal theme. This is me, Becky, with a giraffe. Let's see if we can turn it into a different animal. Firstly, let's just see if we can straight up remove the giraffe. Do I just type remove or do I have to type remove giraffe? We'll find out. Oh my god, it's just disappeared. <laughs> Look at that. This is amazing. So just an example of when these features would have been incredibly useful. You might remember a few months ago when I helped the Cybermen get a Guinness World Record. I also gave them an award to celebrate hitting 100 million views on their most viewed video. So this is what that award looked like. And in order to create that, I had to take the original video thumbnail and painstakingly remove all of the text and add Josh in as well. Now, if I was using generative fill back then, I could have selected the text and literally just said, remove text. Give it 10 seconds and now it is literally gone just like that and I've got a few options to choose from. But what I did back then because I wasn't using Photoshop is I painstakingly went around and removed every little bit by hand with the clone tool and it took me 
absolutely ages. I had to find the original photographs. I had to line everything up. I had to do the color correction. It was a nightmare. So this really is a game changer for graphic artists, thumbnail makers, whatever. Anyway, I need to add an elephant. Let's add a big elephant. Here we go. Elephant. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Just an Indian elephant out of nowhere. Fair enough. We got a few other Indian elephants to choose from. I'm curious, if I type African elephant, will it generate an African elephant as opposed to an Indian elephant? Because if you don't know, Indian elephants have like smaller ears. Oh, yes, that is an African elephant, but it is looking the wrong way. <laughs> This next one's a picture from when I visited Will and E's YouTube museum. This is KSI's original Lamborghini. But this one, I'm going to make it small because I just want to see what does the rest of the YouTube museum look like? Let's actually make sure they know it's a museum by typing museum. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, yes. That looks absolutely amazing. Don't like that one as much. This is a bit too dominating. Uh, yeah, the first one's definitely far superior. Oh my god, that looks so cool. So what's actually new there? My shadow continues nicely. The ceiling looks so cool. That's epic. Oh, we've got the little right arrow because it's a screenshot from Instagram. So let me just get rid of that real quick. Give me a second. There we go. That was easy. Nicely done. <laughs> that looks so cool. I really like that. Right, lastly, we're going to take this picture of me riding a unicycle. And I'm going to try something really challenging. I want to see, can we turn it into me riding a bike? Riding a bike. There you go. I think I'm going to end up with some weird hands and fingers on this one, but I'm excited to see it nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> there we go. I've got a bike. No worries. That one's a bit better. Yeah, definitely weird hands. And that one's not too bad as well. <laughs> Considering these be created out of nothing, it is not bad at all. Let's try a motorbike instead. And I didn't type riding R this time as well. So I'm curious if that has any kind of impact or not. Oh my god, it's actually done a much better job, my body. Whoa, look at that one. Oh my god, they have done a good job there. Well, if I'm riding a motorbike, I should really have a helmet on. You know, safety first and all that. <laughs> I am a completely new human. Because my face was selected too, so it has just generated completely new human beings. If I do motorbike helmet, you might not be able to see my face. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> okay, as you can see, these new AI features are incredible. And there's some very useful things that you could do with them. So if you want to try these new AI features, make sure you update your Photoshop app as well as other Adobe Core tools. And if you're not yet a Creative Cloud subscriber, you can try Adobe Firefly for free on desktop by using my links below. Thank you, Adobe, for sponsoring this video. It's the kind of video that I would have made anyway. So to be sponsored by the actual creators is just incredible. Incredible. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you later. Link in the description. Cheers.